Yes, guys. Here again at Gun Hill Signal Station, here in the parish of St. George, tucked away on the hillside, Gun Hill, which is 700 feet above sea level. <coughs> and it gives awesome views of eight, seven to nine, seven, six to eight of the 11 parishes in Barbados can be seen from this point. So, this is the signal station, and you can see the flag of Barbados blowing here. This is the Gun Hill Signal Station. And this TV is on to show that our visitors can have a detail. This is giving a detail about Barbados. That's great. So I'm looking in a south easterly direction now. We can we are looking towards the airport in Christchurch, the Granley Adams International Airport, which is Barbados' only port of entry by air. You can see the airport to the far end, to the far east over here. And the Lion Statue at Gun Hill is just at the bottom here. The Lion Statue, which was carved in 1868 by Captain Henry Wilkinson, who was an officer at the Gun Hill Signal Station. You can see all of this in Philip with Sam Lawrence Castle on Fall Bay and the Queen, which is southeast, and the airport, which is to the south, and the St. George Valley right before us. So, this is St. George South now that I'm looking into, and we can see the former. Buckley Sugar Factory. Buckley is spelled B U L K E L E Y. That is where my grandmother, my father's mother, used to work at Buckley Plantation. And for those of you who don't know who my father is, Satchmore, that sings, that used to sing What You Got to Give Me for Christmas. <laughs> Satchmore, that used to sing with the Sand Pebbles, and he was a songwriter. He used to write songs for Wendy Arlene, Carolyn Leacock, Richard Stout, the Dresden Stew, Tom Riley, Shara Hackett, and many more Barbadians from back in this era, in the 60s, between the 60s and the early 80s. He wrote songs like Beautiful and Unspoiled for Shara Hackett. I got a thing about you by Wendy Arlene, and Carolyn Leacock's popular song of Jeff Leacock. And those people he wrote songs for. Right, Satchmore is my father. He was from the parish of St. He is from the beautiful parish of St. George. So this is the above terrace. And the Gun Hill Signal Station is 700 feet above sea level. So as I was saying, my father's mother used to work at Butley Plantation, which is by the opposite of the sugar factory. In her young in her back in the days. Butley Sugar Factory closed down in 2002 because sugar wasn't saying that much anymore and they closed down. And as, again, as I said before, Buckley is B U L K E L E Y. And you can see the South Course in the background and a bit of Christchurch. And you can see the Boarded Hall Green in Christchurch. The all to the Turnpike in St. George, which is close to Boarded Hall. Border Hall is between St. George and Christ Church, and all the fair program you can see in the background, and all of the St. David's. You can see the St. George Secondary School at Constant St. George, and all of the Dash Valley. 
and all of the St. George Parish Church in the center of the screen. St. George Parish Church was built in 1641 and we built in 1784 and it is the second oldest place of worship in Barbados after St. James. <coughs> And <clears throat> my apologies for the clearing of the throat. And St. George Parish Church is less Gothic and more Georgian. You see all of the Walkers Valley in St. George. Walkers and the Glebe all in St. George and down to Charles Road Bridge. You can see all of the Gunhill Signal Station in St. George. I mean, what I'm saying though. No? All into the Bridgetown Port and the Water Harbor, sorry. And all into Bridgetown, which is the country's capital. So Gun Hill Signal Station is twelve dollars per entry for person. You can see over to this this is an western directional towards the bridge so port and the water harbor. And you can see all to the Spring Garden Beach, Virgin Beach and Brandon's Beach all along the west coast. And you can see so this is the western direction that I'm looking at now. And because it's all into the Warren's business and commercial area. Which is known as a city away from the city. I can see all the ground view heights in Shopfield and all the layers with the Chaffet warehouses. Chaffet is a fast food restaurant which is exclusive to Barbados, so it cannot be found in any other country other than Barbados. <coughs> and Chaffet warehouse is at Layers, which is just over here where I'm looking to know, close to the Warren's area. And we can see all up. Ground View Heights in Shopfield St. Thomas, which also gives awesome views of the island as well. Cannons that they used to use to fight with back in the day. So, this is the Gun Hill Signal Station. So, this is one of the Barbados National Trust sites, building of historic interest. Gun Hill Signal Station was opened by the Right Honourable John Michael Jeffrey Manningham Adams, Queen's Council and Member of Parliament, who we refer to as Tom Adams in Barbados. He was Barbados' second Prime Minister. And it was opened on the 24th of November 1982. And this building was restored by the Barbados National Trust. Yes, guys. Another view again of the St. George Valley. Straight out of Gun Hill Main Road. And the restoration of the Gun Hill Signal Station in 
and the button, the buckle, and the militia belt. So this is the military area. These were donated by Dr. and Mrs. John Webster. <clears throat> and a map of Barbados from 1728. And the genesis of signal stations and lookouts within the context of the Atlantic Ocean. The Atlantic world. And a brief history of it below. Lookouts and vantage points in Barbados, a defensive necessity. And the name from Brazil to Gunhill. The history of the Victoria Cross. The military history of Barbados. Barbados Artillery Unit and the Royal Scots Fusiliers, the Royal Berkshire Regiment, and the Connaught Rangers. And the map of the world from 1678. And it will start from here first. Prince Edward planting a 6 year Malacent tree at the Gun Hill Signal Station in St. George on Sunday, March 1st, 1987. Yes, it is all in the administration station. So these were the utensils used back in the day. These were these pots and pans and the stove. You can see the, the iron 
the kerosene oil lamp, the pots and the, and the jars and the teacup and saucer. The real teacup and saucer, not the one at Joseph, but the real one. And you can see the jars and so on. like a Barbados. The path here back to the signal station. So from here now we can see into St. Thomas. Further into St. Thomas now in a westerly direction. We are looking at a westerly direction first of all towards the Boystown port and the Water Harbor. You can see all the ships in the port. And we can see the CBC antenna, which is at Gun Hill in St. George. And the second antenna for CBC, which is at Sturges in St. Thomas. You can see I'll be back at the cup, but more primary school. And Market Hill in St. George. And the former Apple Plantation and Single Factory. Which later became the West Indies Records Limited, WIRL. Which used to produce records for Calypso music, Soca music. Study again at the ballads from Red from the Caribbean. So they used to do records for my father, Satchmore, Carl Leacock, Randy Allen, and well, Richard Stout, the Dreaders too, and Riley. George F. Nose, who is a gospel singer, Sister Marshall, who is another gospel singer, um, Bob Marley, by Riley and his Wagoneers, Keith Lynn and Ken Lazarus, Ernie Smith, and John Holt, and Jackie Walker, most of all. Used to do his recording there, and he was the singers of Barbados and the Choir Church Parish Church Choir and St. Peter's Parish Church Choir, and all the church choirs. And we do records for the Mighty Sparrow, Lord Kitchener, Rash Shorty, I know as Lord Shorty, and others. And we can see all to the Harrison Scape area in St. Thomas, and all the Sturges in St. Thomas for the antenna for CBC is, and all to Jack in the Box Gully. And what well we can see from here. And back down again towards St. George Valley in the southeasterly direction. Looking southerly here and southeasterly over here. And a list of all the signal stages in Barbados from Dover Fort in St. Peter into the north, Gwenelle Hall in St. Peter, which is also in the north, Cotton Tower in St. Joseph, also in the north, Hadegate in St. Michael, which is southeast, and Moncrief in St. Philip which is to the east. Yes, okay, this is the beautiful countryside. So I'm in the countryside in rural Barbados, in the center of Barbados, in the parish of St. George. Cannon again. So thank you guys for watching now and have a blessed evening.